In digital media and photography level one and two, we spend time using graphical arts programs such as Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and Lightroom. We use cameras to take pictures, both inside and outside of the classroom. We spend some time editing those photographs. We also have access to CNC machines. We have Carvey, uh, 3D printers, laser engraver, where we can bring some of those projects that we create to life. Some of our very popular classes in the 21st century department include engineering graphics and architecture. Uh, in engineering graphics class, you'll not only learn how to draw, um, even without artistic ability, but you will also learn how to uh, create engineering drawings and such on the computer using AutoCAD, which is premium software uh, used in the industry. Uh, we'll take that software and we will produce products in this class. Uh, you will produce images that you can post, that you can save to a portfolio, but you will also be able to produce things on a three-dimensional printer using plastic, on a laser engraver, or on a CNC machine. So we have a lot of different technology that we can use in the class to not only, to, uh, not only produce the things that you create, but also to demonstrate um, how they can be used in the real world. In architecture class, we learn how to draw, and we learn how to apply those drawings to a whole variety of architectural principles, uh, both commercial architecture and residential architecture. Uh, you'll learn uh, different terms, you'll learn uh, different styles, you'll learn uh, how to design and build your own um, homes. Um, the students really enjoy uh, making the models. Uh, you'll make a, a variety of different models and they'll look fairly professional when you're all done. Uh, so I would seriously consider taking a course, either engineering graphics or architecture. In tech design, uh, level one and two, uh, we do a lot of hands-on projects in here. Uh, we do everything from aerodynamics and structures, uh, mechanisms, uh, we create CO2 cars, uh, we launch off water rockets. Uh, you learn about the science behind how to do all these hands-on projects, but we actually spend a lot of time creating them. Uh, we use uh, drill press bandsaw, uh, belt sander, uh, some other hand tools that, uh, you know, is a great skill to learn um, for those that are any, uh, interested in trades. In video, video editing and media production one and two, students learn from the ground up how to make media. So we teach you editing software, we teach you how to film, use cameras, use props, and, and develop a storyline. Um, so we make some really uh, amazing projects, we make uh, movies, we edit trailers, we make commercials, and we just have a really good time. So it's a class where students get to express themselves and, and make media, which you know, you may have done on your phones before, but now you get to make it for real. So here are some of our sample projects in video, video editing and media production one and two. Are you tired of things that annoy you, but just won't go away no matter what you do? Have you ever seen something you wish never existed? Hi, Willie Wayne's here for the Invispray, the first ever problem remover that asks fast, lasts long, and is safe for all ages. In interactive design, which is a half-year course in the 21st century technology department, we spend time touching on uh, various technology classes that we offer here. We spend some time doing graphics projects using Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and Lightroom uh, from our digital media curriculum, as well as talking a little bit about the technology design curriculum where we do some more hands-on building style projects. And we also do a little bit of video editing from our video design curriculum and we spend a little bit of time talking about some of our CNC machines, laser engravers, and 3D printers which are used from the engineering graphics and architecture programs. It's a nice opportunity to take this half year course to see if any of the other courses are of interest to you. That way that you can go and spend your time taking a full year course in the future. One of my favorites was um, editing a splash of color into a picture because I'd only seen those online and it was cool that I got to um, do that myself.
Marketing gives students an opportunity to have a more hands-on type of business class where most things are based around projects and student-centered learning. We learn about different hot topics going on in the real world and that relates back to the student's life. In Fundamentals of Business, it gives students an opportunity to try a variety of different business subjects to see what they're most interested in. Accounting 1 and Accounting 2 Honors give students an opportunity to get a very solid background in accounting which all business students will need in college. We work on Excel and have the opportunity to go visit real accounting firms. I took accounting to explore new interests for my future. I took accounting to learn the skills necessary to be successful later in life. I joined DECA because I wanted to join a club that would help me with my future and I felt like DECA would best prepare me for that. I joined DECA to get experience into the business world and see if I want to have a future career in business. Digital Business Tools is a class that we teach here at the borough and in that class we learn about business documentation. We use the Microsoft Office suite of Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint and we use the Google suite of all of the Google apps besides Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Financial Literacy is a heavier course. It's a graduation requirement so all students have to take it and it goes into all different aspects of your life that are really important. We start with money management, we talk about banking, credit, debit, and we go into things such as buying cars and houses and why taxes and insurance are so important. Uh, so it is a very fun and uh, important class to take while well in your high school career. Sports and Entertainment Marketing is a heavier course. It's a very interactive course we have uh, in, in the computer lab. We explore marketing in the sports industry and the entertainment industry. So it's a good class if you want to major in business and you're also interested in those different industries. And in entertainment industry, we go into movies, uh, music, and uh, entertainment medias like that. I like this class because we get to do a lot of different projects and see behind the scenes of sports and entertainment industries. Business management is an interactive class where we explore entrepreneurship. We create our own businesses from bottom up, so we go through the whole process. What do we want to sell in our businesses? How do we want to price our products, promote our products? And it's a full uh, half semester course where we create our own businesses. My favorite part about making this business was making my own menu. It was like the part where I could have been most creative. 